Hello, Leo viewers. So what I'm getting from this spread is that somebody who was maybe just detached from you in the past, kind of isolated themselves, um, maybe were, they were cold, guarded, distrusting, just distant for no good reason. Uh, they're, they're realizing what a mistake they made and they're wanting to come forward with open, honest communication. They're, they're wanting to send a message. I think they're stalking you on social media or they're asking mutual friends about you. They're trying to keep tabs on you basically and, and see what's going on with you. And, you know, they're feeling isolated and alone right now. And they're realizing that they're the, that they're the only one to blame for that. They were too cold. They were too distrusting with you. They, they sabotage things and they're, they're having these realizations that it's their fault that they did sabotage things. And, um, yeah, they're, they're thinking about coming forward with the message. They're just kind of watching you from afar right now, maybe asking about you. They're trying to see what's going on with you, trying to figure out if you would give them a second chance, trying to plan accordingly, basically. But you're about to be involved in a love triangle, I think. You have this new love coming in even quicker than you realize. And I've been getting this energy for, for you know, collectively for most of the people that I, I channel on here. And, you know, I've just been feeling that this new love is coming in and that this person is going to, this new person, this new collective group of DMs and DFs are going to be matching your energy so much more than this other person from the past is. Like, this is somebody who's already ready for commitment, somebody who's already going to love you the way that you deserve and want to be loved. Um, so you're going to be in a love triangle a lot sooner than you think. Um, I think it's going to kind of sneak up on you, actually. You're not even going to see it coming. You know, you're just going to have this, it's this fated encounter, just destiny. You're just going to have this new love coming and it's just, it's really unexpected. So I think, I think this person from the past is trying to break old patterns and set themselves free and end these old cycles. But I also see this as you, like you're ending these old patterns. You know, you kind of said enough is enough. Um, you don't want somebody who just stalks you on social media. You want somebody who's actually going to be there physically and not just kind of on the sidelines. But this person is probably going to end up, I mean, what the energy is saying at least is that they are going to end up sending you some kind of message. They are wanting to communicate. They're kind of throwing themselves a pity party right now and feeling um, guilty and feeling just, just feeling stupid, just feeling like they really mess things up with you. And, um, yeah, just trying to figure out what's going on with you and how you might think, you know, kind of overthinking, trying to figure out how you might react to a message from them out of the blue. Um, and wanting, they're wanting to end their patterns, but you're also wanting to end these patterns again of, of all this, this kind of energy. You're just wanting to not do this anymore, I think. And you're going to have, you're going to be part of a love triangle, I think, and you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have this new love coming in and, you know, this other person is trying to reconcile with you. But I think that with divine intervention and synchronicity here, it's like you have this other just destined, fated um, connection with someone coming in. And there's going to be this passion and this romance there. So when this other person comes back around, I don't know if you're going to want it. You're going to have a, an important choice to make. And I almost feel like your guides are trying to protect you from a lower vibrational connection through synchronicity and divine intervention, it's like this person's trying to manifest reconciliation with you, but your guides are kind of trying to block it almost because they want to give you the chance to meet this other person and explore your options. So you do have passion and romance here. Um, with pride and stubbornness, it's like, I think this other person, I think it's kind of, it's still kind of a back and forth situation with them. I think that there still is a lot of pride. There's there's maybe a history there, and but they're realizing that that if they they're realizing it, this other person is realizing they have a choice. They can hold on to their pride and their stubbornness or and their fear, and they can lose you to this new person that's going to come in quick, or they can you know make a move. They can go you know green light here. They can make a move and do what they can do to try to win you back. Or they can hold on to their pride. And I think they're aware of this. They're they're gonna be they might be feeling this energy of this new love that you've either just met or that you're going to meet in the near future. They kind of know that they're at risk of losing you. And so they're they're wanting to come in quick. They're um, you know, realizing they're gonna have to let go of their pride if they if they want a chance with you, you know. 
If they had you on lockdown, I think they would just keep holding on to their pride. But since they don't have you on lockdown anymore, it's kind of like uncomfortable for them. They're like, oh shit, I really have to change or I'm never going to see this person again or they're never going to want me in their life again. You know, like they're, they're having this awareness now that they don't have, they want to go back to just taking you for granted and doing the same old, same old, but they realize that you're never going to come back to them or they're never going to be able to keep you if they do those things. Um, and they probably just feel your energy is kind of pulling away from them right now or that you're not thinking about them as much as you were before. And, and so, yeah, they're, I think they're going to make a move. But again, maybe too little too late because you have this new love here and you're wanting this freedom from this kind of cycle, this karmic cycle you were in with this other person. And so with this new love, this faded encounter and the passion and romance and just synchronicity that you have here and your guides just leading you guys together, um, you're going to be in a love triangle and you're going to be choosing between these two people basically is, is what I'm getting. So you're going to have to do some soul searching when this all comes in. Well, if this resonates, please subscribe. And if you want a private reading, my email is below.